So as, of, as I am making this video, Pokemon Journeys is still in progress. We're not sure if there's going to be a Gen 9 anime or like a Gen 9 games in general. So someone commented on my Wants to Journey 2021 challenge I made about like half a year ago. So a shout out to Zess Xenomon official um, YouTube channel. So he requested me to do the Gen 9 anime tag challenge where I'm the writer of the Generation 9 anime and I get to pick the companions that Ash gets to travel with. So that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to be like the writer of the Gen 9 anime and I'm going to pick Ash's companions. So without further ado, let's begin. Alrighty, so up first I'm going to be choosing Ash's companions for this new series that I'm going to be making. Alright, so I mean um I mainly noticed that throughout the anime we had trios, two quatrettes, and one hexad, but I decided why not we go with a quatrette. Alright, so the first member of this quatrette is going to be Ash because you know he's been the protagonist for like 20 plus years, so yeah, he has to be included. Also, um, second protagonist is going to be Go. My reasoning why is because we're still in Pokemon Journeys, so, and like, the whole like timeline, the story, is revolving around all the regions. So like, they're traveling throughout every single region. So yeah, Go has to catch some Gen 9 Pokemon in order to complete his dream of completing the Pokedex. Um, all right, the third companion is going to be um, Chloe, because what if Gen 9 introduces a new evolution? Like, Chloe's Eevee's gotta meet this uh, Gen 9 evolution in order so that, you know, Eevee can decide what to evolve into or not evolve into. <laughs> Alright, so I know I said there's gonna be a quatrette, and you're gonna be wondering who in the world is going to be this fourth protagonist? Is it gonna be Serena or Dawn or someone? No, I'm actually going to be making my own protagonist to put in this Gen 9 anime. Alright then, so the new protagonist that I came up with, um, her name is going to be Elizabeth. She is native to the Generation 9 region, um, and she's a new Pokemon trainer. So Ash, Go, and Chloe are going to help her out becoming a better trainer, and yeah, help her with the basics and stuff like that. All right, so Elizabeth's personality um, is going to be like, she's going to be pretty hyperactive. So yeah, she's going to have a whole lot of lines throughout the series because she's, she's always willing to talk to others. And yeah, she's also going to be accepting to learn new things. Like for example, later on in the video, I'll explain that. All right then, so Elizabeth is gonna be, look something like a fusion of Dawn and Serena together. Um, just probably with slightly minor different details. And, yeah, and her partner Pokemon, let's see, her partner Pokemon. Alright, so Elizabeth's partner Pokemon is going to be a fusion of a Sable and a Trico. Well, whoops, I didn't mean Trico, I meant Torchic, not Trico. Alright, so it's gonna be a combination of a Torchic and a Trico. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be water type, but it might turn into a fire type later because um, Torchic is part fire type. But anyways, so Elizabeth is going to nickname her partner Pokemon Liz because first off, her name, um, Elizabeth's name literally has the word Liz in it. So, like, yeah, it's like a coincidence. And also, um, this Pokemon is a lizard and the word Liz is also in the word lizard too. Alright then, so now that I have chosen Ash's companions for the Generation 9 anime that I'm coming up with, um, now let's move on to the writing. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna summarize what I cut, the story that I come up with for the entire series. Alright, so I'm only gonna be writing the first episode of the series and then I'm gonna explain what, what's going to go on later in the series. Alright, so first, it, what's gonna happen first is that Ash, Go, and Chloe they hear about the Gen 9 region, so they decide to head over there, and they arrive in this town kind of like, you know, Wedgehurst or something like that. And then, 
so yeah, they, they go to the local Pokemon Center, they stay there for a little bit, they chill out there, and then when they come out, they all, all of a sudden they hear a scream, and then Ash is like, oh, wh wh I wonder where that came from, and then Go is like, let's go find out, <laughs> and then so they go into the nearby forest, and they see Elizabeth getting attacked by the regional bird Pokemon, and since she's a beginner Pokemon trainer, he, she just doesn't know what to do against the, the, the regional bird. So Ash and Go save her, and then Elizabeth's like, oh, thank you very much for saving me. And then they all introduce themselves to Elizabeth, and then Elizabeth introduces herself. And then Elizabeth then explains that she's a new Pokemon trainer, she just straight up doesn't, knew, don't, doesn't know how to do anything. So then Ash, Go, and Claire are just gonna help help her out in the first episode. So then Ash is like, all right, so we're gonna first teach you how to catch a Pokemon. And then, so they try to look for Pokemon. And then while they're looking for one, um, all of a sudden someone snatches Pikachu. Or and it turns out it's Team Rocket at another attempt to, take a, to get Pikachu. All right, so our heroes, um, they're gonna be battling Team Rocket. So Ash is gonna use his Lucario because, you know, Lucario is supposed to be the ace in Journeys. And it, it can already mega evolve, so. So yeah, Ash is gonna be using Lucario, Go is going to be using Cinderace, and Chloe is gonna be using her Eevee to battle against Team Rocket. So, all right, so in case you're wondering what Team Rocket's Pokemon are going to be, well, so basically in Journeys, they're still using that Rocket Prize Master thing. They're not using Toodle, and they're not using more pet code. They're using Meowth, Wobbuffet, and whatever Pokemon come out of the Rocket Prize Master vending machine, gotcha machine thing. So yeah, they're going to get two Pokemon out of it, and there's going to be like Gen 9 Pokemon, so then Ash and Dora are just going to use their Pokedexes to know what they are. Probably something like a Ground or maybe a Dark type will come out. So, yeah. And then they're all gonna, fighting against Team Rocket. They're trying to beat them. And and then Elizabeth is, like, just standing there with her partner, Liz. And they're, like... And, like, L Elizabeth, in thought, she's, like, wow, they're amazing. Like, they're so experienced with this. And, and then she's, like, I want to be just like them. And then, and then Ash is going to say, Lucario, Aura Sphere. And then Go is going to be, like... Cinderace, use Pyro Ball! And then Chloe's gonna be like, Eevee, use Copycat! And it's probably gonna use like Aura Sphere or Pyro Ball or one of the moves that Team Rocket's Pokemon decide to use. So in the end, our heroes are going to win, just like always. And then after the battle, Elizabeth runs up to, to all three of them and they're like, Wow, you guys are such experienced battlers! Battlers, you're all so cool! And then, er and then all three of them say, Thanks! And then Elizabeth is like, I really want to be just like you guys, and I just can't wait to learn how to catch a Pokemon and battle with my Pokemon. And then, so then Ash is like, hey, you you want to come along with us? We can help you out, and you get to learn more about this Pokemon world. So, and then Elizabeth accepts. Accepts. So, so basically, the series is going to go kind of like, you know, throughout the entire anime. It's kind of going to be back and forth, like... Chloe's gonna be a recurrent character because, you know, there's something known as school in the Pokemon universe. Um, Go might somewhat be a recurring character because, um, in episode 49 of Journeys, he promised that he would go to school when there's a test, so he might not be in one episode or another because of the test. So yeah, it's basically going to be the storyline. Um, Ash is going- um, Ash, Go, Chloe, and Elizabeth are going to travel around the Pokemon world. Ash is going to find later find out about gym badges. Go is going to catch some more Pokemon. Chloe's going to learn about an evolution if there's possibly going to be one, and Elizabeth is going to learn about more learn more about the Pokemon world. So yeah, this is basically it for this Gen 9 challenge. I hope you all did enjoy. Um, shout out to Seth um, for requesting this video, and thank you all for watching. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.